Hi friends, Miss Fox here. Let's count. Yesterday you read the book Counting at the Zoo, where you learned about counting the animals and five frames. What that means is if you have five penguins diving, you also have an object that represents each one of those penguins in these squares down here. See? So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have here, we have one, two, three, four, five dots. Now there's different ways that you can do that. I have made some file folders here. I have the number one up here and the five frame down here. And I have number two, three, four, and five. I also have some objects here that you can use to fill in your frames. Let's use number five, for example. I could either fill it in with Play-Doh, stickers, pom-poms, beads, Legos, or buttons. I think I'm gonna use the buttons for this one. So if you see the number five here, how many buttons do I need to put in these squares? Hmm. Five, correct, five. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. So my number is number five, but my objects also add up to that number five. I have five buttons for my number five. If you don't have file folders, that's okay. You can also just get page protectors and do the squares at the bottom with the number at the top. And you can also just, for the number one, put one Lego. Or if you'd rather color it in with a white marker, you can color in one box just like this. And then because we used a white marker and a page protector, you can just wipe it off for next time. You can also just get a piece of paper. Draw number one, color it in, or put one sticker on it. I did kind of come up with a game, friends, so let's try it. <clears throat> I think I'll use the page protectors. Sorry, I gotta move my table a little. Five is on the back. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. You just take a dice put the numbers in it or use a regular dice that you have at home and that has the dots on it. So not only can you use one with numbers, you can use the dice that you have at home with the dots and just count out the dots. And then you would just roll the dice and I landed on number two. So I'd get the number two card and put two buttons on it. Then I roll it again. Let's try again, I got number two. Oh, this time I got number three. So this time, maybe I'll take some Legos. One, two, three. Number three. One more roll. Oh, I got the dots. Let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, and five. So I got the number five. Well, this time I think I'll take five pom-poms. One two, three, four, and five. So this is some fun ways to practice your fives, one through five on your five frame. All right, thank you friends. Till next time, bye.